on, it's Jessica, and today I have my everyday makeup drawer video. I feel like I haven't done one of these in so long, like so long, and I started these back two years ago when I started my channel when I had the idea, and I'm so excited to see a lot of YouTubers that I love are starting to do it here on YouTube, obviously here on YouTube, if they're YouTubers. Anyway, um, so hopefully this is enjoyable for you. If you don't know what an everyday makeup drawer is, it's basically, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just a drawer that I use to kind of put products that either I feel like as I go through my collection, I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot about this and I want to use it again. I basically put products there that I need in front of my face so that I use up because maybe I'm trying to finish them, or they're ones that I use every single day without fail, so I would be searching for them every day, so I just put them there. Um, or they're new products that I'm trying out to maybe review, whatever. So that's what's in there. Let's go ahead and see what's in there. Okay, so here is my everyday makeup drawer right now. I've just got this Target container I got for like six bucks. It's got all of these compartments in it. And then back there I've got some palettes, which you'll see in a second. So let's start over here. It's kind of all mixed in. So the first thing I have is this Everyday Minerals Concealer in Multitasking. And it's just a really nice brightening powder I got from Vitacost. I also have this Pixie Quad that I cannot stop using. I got it from Hot Look for like five bucks. It's in shades of taupe. <laughs> And it's just got these gorgeous colors. They blend so seamlessly together and it's such a perfect everyday semi-shimmery look. I love it. This I picked up from Walgreens the other day. It's from it's from e.l.f. It's one of their smudge pots and it's in the shade Let It Go. And it's, um, you know, it was like three or four bucks. I, it's just a pretty like light pink color. It's not as good formula wise as their regular smudge pots, but honestly, I just bought it because Elsa, so. <laughs> I also am trying out the Essence Gel Liner in Midnight in Paris. I got this on at Ulta for like three or four bucks. I really like it. I've heard very mixed things. Some people love this and some people hate it, but I love it so much. I think it's really creamy and it stays on all day. I love it. This is what I was wearing on my lips in the beginning and the end of this video, which is the NYX Butter Lipstick in Hunk. And it looks really, really deep, but it's actually more pink as you saw on my lips. So I really like it. I will say though, you need a lip liner with this. The next thing is this, this was a free sample with a Sephora order. It's the Tarte, the Sculptor, um, kind of like contouring stick, and it's in the shade Park Ave Princess, and it's really nice. I will say it pulls a little oranger than you would like if you're as fair as I am, or for contouring really. Um, but it's nice and it stays put when I use it, so I'm still kind of trying it out. This is the, Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter. And again, I got this on Hot Look. And it's just a really, really light, um, nice under brow highlighting thing. So it just makes your brow stand out a little bit more. Um, here I've got my Revlon Color Stay Whipped, my favorite foundation of all time, forever and ever. I'll probably wear this on my wedding. It's in the shade 150 Buff. Um, I hate that it's in a jar, but it's fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Loose Face Powder. And I actually took off the little sifter there. Um, and it's great. It's a lot less messy when it's just open because you can tap it off in the lid, whatever you dip your brush into. Um, it's awesome and it's like three bucks. I am falling in love with this stuff more and more. Over here, I've got my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray that I'm trying out. I really, really like because most setting sprays make me... Um, shiny and this one doesn't. I also have another NYX. This is the Control Freak Clear Eyebrow Gel. It's really good. It's got a normal size spoolie so it's a little bit large but it's great. It holds on to it. It doesn't have too much liquid that comes out. I also have a few e.l.f. products. This is their e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. You see it's starting to wear off because I've been using it like crazy. It's just a giant felt tipped um, liner pen if you will and it's great. I really really like it. Um, and then I also have the e.l.f. makeup remover because I always use this every day to clean up my liner. And then I have the Essence I Love Extreme or I Heart Extreme Volumizing Mascara. And this has a giant brush, but it's pretty good. I like it so far. I think it needs to dry out a little bit more before it's really, really effective, but it's really, really cheap. All right, over here I've got my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which I talked about in my haul, that this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products of theirs. It's a, it's a concealer that just doesn't move all day. It's so nice. This is my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Medium Brown that I use every single day that I love. The Physician's Formula, this is another liquid liner that I used to love, and this is in Ultra Black, but 
it's coming out so much more gray than it used to, so I don't know. Um, and this is a newer one, maybe it needs to dry out a bit more, but I thought Ultra Black was the one that was really black, but I don't know, I'm not loving it as much as I used to. This is a Jordana 12 hour made to last pencil in black that's almost used up, so I'm using it up. This is another It Cosmetics one that I would pay hundreds of dollars for. It is so amazing, it's their tight line mascara, and I talk about it a little more in depth in that video, but it's this like tiny, tiny, like dumb tiny wand, and it is just so precise for your lower lashes. It's waterproof. Again, I'm probably gonna use this for my wedding. I have to use a mascara on top of it, but this is amazing for really filling in your tight line without having to use a liner. It's so good. And then I also have the Hard Candy Glamouflage because I have a burn on my face right now from my curling wand. So this is what I use to cover and it does amazing. So love that for facial things, but I don't love it under the eye. I would rather use this under the eye. All right, moving on. So back here, I've got this Hard Candy Highlighter in Tiki, and it is the most amazing highlighter. How do you open it? Where is it? Um, it is just so beautiful and glowy and kind of golden, but not too golden because you guys know I'm really fair and golden highlighters look ridiculous, but this one doesn't. It's just a really pretty highlight. I love it. And then I also have another Hard Candy blush. It's one of their ombre blushes in Punch, and this has become a favorite of mine because it's got kind of a highlighter and blush built in so you could apply it like all in one sweep. Supposedly, I don't think you really can. I think it looks ridiculous, but when you blend it together, it is the prettiest shimmery light pink color. So if you're fair like I am, it ends up looking, it doesn't even show up in swatches. It ends up looking gorgeous with the brush. And then I also have a NYX HD blush in taupe that so many of you guys recommended, and so I finally picked it up and it is amazing. It looks insanely dark, but it looks so amazing as a contour. I love it, and it's so cheap. And then I've also got a miniature little Revo. Holly Eats Lipstick here on YouTube, who I love. She talks about Revo so much and loves them. And I saw these at the Dollar Tree, these miniature ones. So I was like, duh. So I've been using it. I Honestly, I've had it for a week and I've like almost used it up. It's so good. Um, and then I've got some lip products here. So this is a NARS one. This is the very first NARS Audacious Lipstick I've ever bought. And it's in the shade Anita. I know everyone loves Anna, but I really liked Anita because it was more of a... I don't know, it was just it had a little bit deeper tones, but not too much. I love it, it's so creamy. I haven't really gotten the chance to use this much, and it was quite a splurge for me, but I just had been wanting to try one of them, and I wanted a color that I knew I would love. I might wear this on my wedding, we will see. Then I've also got this It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush in Je Ne Sais Quoi, and it's like a clear um, lipstick but it goes on and kind of like melds with your skin, with your lips, and it's like this really pretty pink. It makes your lips look like that you just bit them. It is so amazing. And then this Too Faced one in Nude Beach that I got in a kit, it's a really pretty, oh, I wear this all the time. It's so pretty, just a pretty peachy nude, but it's not too dark, I love it. Then back here I've got an Everyday Minerals Cheek, which I bought on Vitacost. It's a blush and primrose, and it's like a loose blush. It's really, really pretty. I show swatches in my Vitacost haul video of this. Um, this is kind of hard to swatch since it's loose. And then this, I this is a rediscovered one from my collection. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Cream, and it's in the shade St. Lucia, and it, you guys, this cream, like, <laughs> it's, um, this is what I use for um, my contour today, actually. This cream, both of them, do not move all day. I have never had a cream product that is so long lasting in my life. I, in my life, and they blend so beautifully together. Um, and this even works like to bronze up your entire face if you're wanting to use cream bronzer. This is the best I've ever tried in my life. Way better than the Tarte um, one, and it's about the same shade too. So I highly recommend this, and it's like $3. Now back here, I've just got two palettes. I've got this Too Faced a la Mode one. It was on sale on Too Faced website for like 18 bucks instead of 36. And I was like, oh, I gotta. And since Tyler and I are going to um, France for our honeymoon, I was like, well, these are just so classic. So, and they all have French names. So I'm excited to give this some more love. I've had it now for a week or two and I haven't really used it a ton, but I really like this row of colors right here, so. Want to play with that some more. And then one of my favorite favorites, the Natural Eyes. I've already did my review and comparison of this compared to a, the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. Not that one I just showed you, but a different one. And the Too Faced one's $36. This one is eight, and I swear to you, this one might be better. It is so amazing that a few of the shades are a little different, but in that video, you see swatches comparing them and um, 
I'll link it below. I love this palette so much, so I've been using it a lot. And that is everything in my drawer this month. If you found that video enjoyable, please check out my my whole playlist of everyday makeup drawers, my whole series I have on a playlist. I will definitely link that below. I love watching these. It's fun to see what people are using right then and there, especially if it's someone that you really trust and that you, um, that you just really like and you trust their opinion. That's how I feel about those that have started doing it. I'm like, yes, because I finally get to see the makeup that they genuinely love and that they're actually using right now. And I think when you've got a collection that has grown so much, you start to feel overwhelmed, and if you do have a bigger collection, you know. It's very overwhelming, and I've decluttered, and I have that whole series too. Um, but it can be very overwhelming, so it's nice to kind of um, to see what other people are using, but also to make yourself think, okay, what am I truly using? It helps you, it helps you see what you can get rid of really easily, because if I have something in my everyday makeup drawer for the whole month, or maybe even longer, and I know that I only used it once, and it was right in front of my face, and I still didn't want to use it, that's a pretty good sign that I should probably get rid of it or pass it on to someone that will love it, etc. So it's a great way to help yourself declutter too. Hopefully that was enjoyable. Subscribe if you'd like to catch more of my videos, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!